we, many of us actually uh, congratulate ourselves, perhaps wrongly, that religion is in decline in the United Kingdom. Here we have a, the proportion of people who identify themselves as Christian, or Church of England at least, which is scarcely, I think scarcely counts, but still, okay, <laughs> and versus non-believers, and you'll see that in 2008 the lines actually crossed. Uh, in the United States even, the number of believers is going down. Uh, however, as we'll see in a moment, demography means that's not the way things are going to happen. So what is demography? Demography is the, is the, um, is the uh, study of human numbers. And Charles Darwin, before he wrote The Origin, when he was still struggling with trying to work out what was going on in the living world, he writes in his diary, I read one day for amusement, my God, for amusement, um, uh, Thomas Malthus' essay on the principle of population. I have read that it's not amusing at all, I can assure you. Um, and he said, at last I have a theory to work with. Here then, at last I had got a theory on which to work. In that numbers would increase um, uh, logarithmically, 2, 4, 8, 16, 32, whereas resources to put it crudely, would be arithmetic, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, so that there would be, always be pressure of numbers. Some people would survive and some people wouldn't. Those that were better at surviving would pass on their heritage, and then you had a mechanism whereby things would change. So that we've seen the origin of religion had to do with demography. Okay? Uh, there was an explosion of numbers, and suddenly particular religions seemed, for one reason or another, to be more successful, and they established themselves. Okay? So what you can ask is, from that, what's going to happen in the future? And again, there is a generally universal rule, both within countries and across the globe, that countries which are individuals and countries which are more religious are more fecund. They have more children. Now, I haven't been able to find a global one, but this is the only one I could find. But let's take the number of children to, born to mothers in Germany. Okay? This is the red line here. People who never go to church have about 1.4 children per mother. Those who go on holiday, on holy days, 1.44. Those who go uh, once a week, 1.8. And those, go, those who go more often, uh, 1.98. Across the globe, and this is a very limited sample, there are plenty of countries not on this graph, um, the, the numbers are higher, but the pattern is exactly the same. Okay. So in order, it's worth remembering, of course, that Europe is not maintaining its own numbers. The only country in Europe which does maintain its own numbers is whoopee Britain, godless though we might be. We do just about have enough children to maintain numbers. But you can see that in Europe as a whole, in order to keep Europe going as a, in population terms, you need to go to church more than, at least once a week. At least once a week. Okay. <laughs> uh, more often than once a week.